Hello all. In this tutorial, you are going to discuss about the having clause. Uh, having clause is used to specify a conditions on aggregate functions. It is always used along with a group by clause. So let's see. You see the first question. Per department, how many employees are present? So we want the count of employees per department. So this is a classic example of group by clause. The query will be select. Uh, per department so dptno comma count of star from emp group by department number so Yes, we get the answer as per department number. So, how many employees are present in each department? This is example we have already studied in previous tutorial of group by clause. We'll see the next one. Which department has at least two employees? Now, this time we want to display only department number 10 and 20 because the question says we have to filter out those departments which are not having two employees minimum. So the department number 30 which has only one employee will be removed from result. So what we want is you want to provide a condition based on this count. So first thing aggregate functions the conditions on aggregate function will cannot be specified in a where clause because as we already know that where clause gets executed after group by clause and we want a condition on aggregate so there has to be some condition which has to be executed after the grouping has been done so first all these three groups will be formed the count will be calculated and based on some condition on this count the roll number sorry department number 30 will be removed so the condition for that will be having count of star greater than or equal to 2 at least 2 employees yes we get the answer as department number 20 and 10 so having clause is used for specifying a condition on aggregate functions next question per job how many employees are from department number 10 so simple enough per job so here it will be designation and this should not include having clause so designation and where dptno is equals to 10 mm, two times semicolon should be considered okay so yes we get the answer the next question which job has more than one employee again it is with respect to designation so instead of department number 10 where clause will have having count of star greater than 1 yes you get the answer and the last question for this tutorial is which job has more than one employee from department number 10 so this question number 5 is actually the combination of last two questions that is question number 3 per job how many employees are from department number 10 which job has more than one employee now if we uh, combine these two conditions then we get this question so the answer would be we have to have a where clause where dptno is equals to 10 okay so if we see from department number 10 we have only 
two different designations and none of the designation is having more than one employee so if we just include it greater than zero then we might get two records yes because for both the count is one so greater than one does not satisfy the condition okay so that's it for having clause thanks for watching and happy learning